There we go. Good morning. Good morning. And, uh, and today we're going to work in our rice bread garden. We have a citrus, just put a layer of compost and then um, seedling starter mix. If you can say it like that. And uh, we'll just put it on the wood chips and then, um, yeah. We can plant in a month after this. So basically, I wanted to do this video yesterday. Today is the 2nd of August, which means it's basically about another month of cold weather. But it is time that we can start our seedlings and also some seeds that we can direct sow. But yeah, first of all, we need to finish this race bed card. So all we need to do now basically is to add the top layer of topsoil or compost and yeah, we can have it prepped for, for planting. So from this garden there, this is basically one we just put up when we moved in just to have our compost basically in and I did so some onion and carrot seeds and I see there is still some onions and I'll see if we can maybe save that to have it uh, transplanted later yeah. and then we are going to take some of the soil and put it into that garden there Okay, basically, unfortunately, my compost is still a bit not done yet. There's still a lot of organic material that needs to break down. But this will help at least. But I think we'll have to buy in some compost this year for the first time. <laughs> since forever but I mean if we can fill this and let it settle uh, I think uh, two or three bags of compost should, should do it
Perfect. 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 Thank you. Dropping it now. It looks so cold. <laughs> Okay, so what we did now, and Lucien will show you quickly, okay. is I just took this extra board that I had on this side over here off and turn it sideways and put it on top. And the reason and the reason for that is that we will then use this as a structure to drape our uh, frost curtain over, so that if there is maybe some frost coming that it won't freeze our plants to death, hopefully. The second reason is also to keep the cats out of the raised bed garden because they always want to use it as a litter box. Yeah, um, there, there, there's a big um, cat poop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll just put the curtain over. So that's why I've got it like this. It may look uncomfortable at the moment, but it is going to serve a function. What I am going to do now is just to take my piece of twine. This raised bed garden we will utilize as a square foot raised bed garden. So we'll plan, plant by square foot in square foot blocks. And that is to get basically the most, the biggest yield out of a small space that you can possibly get using that method and also that helps you with companion planting as well so that you can plant certain uh, vegetables together that will benefit each other or other beneficial plants like chamomile flowers or stuff like that. As we go on we will discuss more on, on that. I'm going to have a little bit less than a square foot space, but it's more or less the same. It's just going to go a bit tinier than a square foot. So yeah, what we've done now, so what we've done now is basically we created our square foot spaces where we will plant things like carrots. You can plant up to 16 carrots in a block. A block or four lettuce heads maybe or one pepper. A tomato will probably take up two blocks so you'll plant in the middle of two blocks and something like a squash will take up four blocks <laughs> but yeah <coughs> I have done my planning it is on my phone and I'll add that in the 
uh, 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 video as well. Take a screenshot of that and just explain what we've done there. And also what we do is to plant only what we will then use for fresh eating um, as the time goes on. So for instance, maybe this month of August, I might only use only half of this bed. But September I might use two and a half beds or whatever. So I'm only going to plant what we consume as a family in fresh eating. So I've done that planning as well. And I'll show you a screenshot of that as well and explain everything we have done. And seeing that I am going to direct so most of our seed, I hope that the soil will actually be rich enough. But we'll see. Ten to one it will with our new compost thing. <coughs> That's I see, it. but there's not a lot of compost. I'm a bit skeptical. Or it might be transplant. Some of the soil did go through the wood shavings now and settle. Yeah. Which is also a good thing because the wood shavings will uh, uh, work as a mulch that's already in the compost now. I just hope there's enough soil, compost soil in. But I see that settled quite a bit, so let's quickly add a bit more compost. See how soft the wood is that was in the compost, well, that is in the compost. It absolutely disintegrates in your hand. Okay, yeah, so what, we've got our bed ready now, I just put a, a, a top layer of compost on, or composted soil. Um, and what we can do now is basically to direct sow um, and there are other uh, seedlings that I am going to start inside but those that I can direct sow I will direct sow um, I'm just going to stop the video here for now because I need to charge the camera Ha, 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 ha.